Hello there guys, it's John here from Donk TCG, and we're here to play a deck that I managed to make top 4 with at a recent League Cup. Uh, the deck is based around Espeon and Garbodor. Uh, we kind of figured going into the Cup that Buzzwell would be a big deal. Um, it proved not to be as big a deal as we thought it would, but ganging up on all those fire decks that like to use lots of energy and shutting off abilities where we can is, is really, really nice. So let's go through the deck list and then we'll have a couple of games. First off, we start with a 3-3 line of Eevee and Espeon. Eevee, of course, is the one with energy evolution. Um, stick a Psychic on it more or less every turn one and just get yourself into Espeon. Espeon has three great attacks. Um, we start with Psybeam for 30 damage and confusion. You can really set your opponent in an awkward position if you're able to Stick them in the active confused, they might not want to attack. If they do attack, they're going to, they are risk taking damage. And Psychic is really, really nice in this deck. Um, 60 plus 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it really ramps up nice and quickly. And of course, we play Choice Band um, and, and as a 3 of to just bring that damage up a little bit more. And then we have Divide GX, which puts 10 damage counters wherever we want on the opponent's side of the field. Really, really nasty attack, especially with um, a lot of 60 HP basics running around. You can really stop your opponent in their tracks by just knocking out a basic and then setting up KOs elsewhere on the field. We also play a 3-2-1 line of Trubbish and Garbodor. Garbodor um, has proven to be so nasty in the format currently because there's so many decks that just rely on abilities. We shut down metal decks, we shut down fire decks, we shut down lots of different decks just by saying, no, your abilities don't work anymore. We have a great out to stopping Greninja with this card. It, it's nasty, we play two of these. We also play one Garbodor, and this, my friends, at the weekend, this was absolutely beautiful. The amount of times that people were not expecting Garbodor, and I don't know why, because we were playing Espeon and the other Garbodor, like, they just kept using t using trainer cards, like, uh, item cards were just going and going and going, and Trash Alliance just becomes this amazing knockout potential card. Um, we were able to win a lot of games because of Garbodor, and we were always able to count up the amount of to uh, the amount of items in the other, uh, in the opponent's side of the field, I should say, and it, oh, it, was, it was great. So we play one of those. We also play two copies of Rescue Stretcher just to recycle um, the likes of Garbodor and um, maybe an Espeon or two down the line. As far as tech Pokemon go, we have one Drampa GX, Righteous Edge for 20 damage, discards a special energy for your opponent's active. Really, really nice card and can really set your opponent back a little bit as well. Um, and that's what this deck is all about. It's all about setting your opponent back so many turns that we win the game, basically. Berserk's another really good attack. It gives an alternative weakness when we're dealing with other psychic decks um, and uh, with having a fighting weakness. Um, and we deal with fighting decks anyway, so we're not too worried about that. <clears throat> um, Berserk, if you've got any damage on your bench Pokemon, uh, we're talking any damage whatsoever we can't initiate that damage with this deck unfortunately but it's, it's not hard to get you know damage on for example tapu coco and then just retreat out and um, you will do an extra 70 damage plus your original damage of 80 for three energy and that is nasty that's such a good amount of damage to be hitting stick a choice band on there and with the bonus damage you're doing 180 damage and then Big Wheel GX provides an alternative GX attack for the deck. Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw 10 cards is so good. It's so, so good. Especially in this deck because we we do struggle a lot not being able to use our Tapu Lele's um, in the late game because we've already got ability lockup. While we're here, Tapu Lele's Wonder Tag is really the only reason I'm this. he's in this deck. However, Energy Drive was has proven to be a really dangerous attack. Like... People sleeping on energy drive is something to behold because you can take cheeky knockouts with Tapu Lele here and there and it's beautiful. We play two of these. Tapu Coco's here for flying flip and for his free retreat. It's really nice to be able to bounce him with Guzma. Um, just flying flip um, is, is enough to be in the deck on its own to be honest and just set up those, uh, those knockouts elsewhere on the board. But having the free retreater in the deck is always good um, to use Guzma and then just 
like use Tapu Lele to for the pivot switch. Um, however, we do play four float stones for Tr Garbodor, so we end up using him as well. Um, as far as the deck goes, we were really looking to put as much draw support in as possible because we felt that um, the deck really suffers in the late game because we can't draw. So we play four copies of Cynthia, one copy of Lily, two copies of N, and three copies of Sycamore for a grand total of 10 draw supporters in this deck. And I will tell you right now, we need every single one of them. The reason we play one Lily as opposed to playing, for example, another Sycamore or another N, um, Lily's a really nice turn one supporter when Bridget is prized. So having one Bridget in the deck um, is absolutely fine. We don't really need more than one. Um, but if Bridget is prized, then we're going to be looking to use Lily turn one instead. And that is it, it's perfectly fine. Uh, we play three copies of Guzma. Speaks for itself. Um, one field blower. Uh, get rid of any tools and stadiums on the field. We, we found we only really needed one. Two copies of Rescue Stretcher, as I've already mentioned, is really nice to bring back things like Garbodor and, you know, the odd Espeon. Uh, four Ultra Ball is standard in every deck. Um, one copy of Acerola. Now, Acerola was really nice. This was one card... Uh, there was four of us playing this deck, and this was one card that was different in two of our lists. Myself and um, Ian from the channel also played this list, and he he said that Acerola was probably like the the card that made us finish better than the other two people that played the deck um jason and jacob did not include this card and i really feel as if it was a must in the deck just to recycle some of your pokemon some of your energies it got rid of all the damage on some of your pokemon you could reuse a lele it was it had so much potential and it was something that we really we ian and i really felt as if it was needed and it, it proved to do quite well as i say i finished fourth and Ian finished in the top eight. Uh, Parallel City, we play two of. Uh, just again, setting your opponent back, and it really helps with those Zoroark matchups to say, you know, you can only have a bench of three, so now you're not doing as much damage as you were before. Uh, and then we play two copies of Enhanced Hammer, just to round out um, the kind of stolly denial nature of the deck. Uh, we're looking to really upset our opponent's setup and capitalize on that um, as far as energy goes seven psychic energy and four dce so yeah i'll um i'll jump to some games right now and i'll be back with you shortly okay guys gonna jump into a game here looks as if we're playing against galissapod uh zoroark which is probably one of the worst matchups for this deck but we'll see how it goes we would like to go first. Of course we would like to go first. Going first gives us that advantage of being able to evolve before our opponent. It's always really nice to do. Uh, we're going to start our Eevee. And as we're going first, we're just going to hold this Trubbish for now, just in case we decide to do something else. Um, it is possible that we top deck an Ultra Ball and we want to discard the Trubbish to get Lele, for example. We see a Lele in the active. My opponent's not had the greatest of starts, but we have a pretty dead hand here. <laughs> We have a pretty dead hand here. However, we are going to be able to energy evolve our EV turn one. And we're going to grab Espeon. Now, while we're in here, let's have a quick look and see what is not in the deck. All of our Pokemon seem to be there. One enhanced hammer is in our hand. Uh, we're missing two Ultra Balls. That's not great. One Parallel City is prized. One Cynthia is prized. Uh, Sycamore is prized. These are bad prizes, guys. These are bad prizes, and as uh, Psychic Energy is also prized. So yeah, that's not the best prizes we could possibly have had. Um, I'm gonna hold the Float Stone in hand for now, and I'm gonna pass turn. Reason I hold the Float Stone is just in case my opponent happens to have a Fuel Blower in hand, they just want to get rid of the the Float Stone straight away. So we'll just hold on to it. Gonna see Bridget turn one. My opponent got super, super lucky there. That's a nice draw. And we see that it's actually Zoroark Gardevoir. Um, probably with an emphasis on Gallade. I'm sure there was a grass type in there. What is this? Okay, I'm not sure exactly what this is. However, he has committed energy to the 
the Ralts, so I'm going to simply knock out the Ralts. We'll bring up our Trubbish, put a Float Stone on the Trubbish, retreat to Espeon. I'm thinking... Yeah, I think we drop the Psychic Energy now. We're not going to do anything else this turn anyway, so we might as well knock out. The reason that I like dropping the Psychic Energy here is because Garbodor um, Trash Lance then becomes such an awesome card later on in the game. Uh, we see Ultra Ball, which is absolutely perfect for us. Um, good chance of getting Ultra Ball there with two prized, so we'll be grabbing Lele for Sycamore next turn. We'll probably be happy to discard these two cards. And we see Zoroark straight away. So Zoroark here isn't awful. He's not got a lot on his bench, even after getting Bridget turn 1. We see the Field Blower, of course. Like I say, that's why I kept it in hand. Uh, but we used it to take a knockout, so it's totally fine. We see another Zoroark coming down, and we're going to see some trades. Okay, so this looks like a Zoroark Counters deck with a Gardevoir in it. I, I'm not familiar with this deck, but we'll see how it goes. It shouldn't be too bad. Another Zora coming down, and there's so oh, there's that pseudo widow, and right is beating for 100 damage. Not the end of the world if Espeon does go down. However, I would like to get a little bit more use out of it. Uh, we're going to just enhance hammer his DCE and Ultra Ball away these two cards for our Lily. Uh, pretty happy to use the. Uh, enhance timer there and get rid of the other two cards because I'm going to get Sycamore off of this so everything was going in the discard pile anyway it's better to do it with a hand of zero and I couldn't have used any of the other cards we get into Garbodor and a float stone so we can turn off his trades um, however Psychic isn't doing a whole lot of damage I may divide this turn and knock out Zorua? Is that really the best play? Um, we are going to set up our Garb. Um, however, I think it's actually better to attack with Lele here. Um, we can't do a whole lot of damage to him and he's going to knock me out next turn. However, I can use Acerola to pick up Espeon and then just lose all of that damage. So let's stick a, uh, a double colourless on here with the Choice Band. We'll retreat to Tapu Lele. And without, um, without the use of his abilities, he will hopefully have a tough time setting up any further than this. But we can do 70 damage with Lele here. We see enhanced hammer, fantastic, absolutely great. That's that's exactly what we wanted to see. Come on now. I'm probably gonna have to use Cynthia next turn now. That's that's kind of frustrating. I won't lie. Let's see. There we go. So we we stole a turn from him there. We were able to basically steal a turn. I think what we actually do here do we tap a cure? Like the chances of me attaching a psychic here and then hitting double colorless is really slim. I could tap a cure and lose all the damage on my Espeon and that's not the worst turn in the world. But then we don't have divide. I'd rather keep divide open I think many items has he used? He's used two, three, four. He's only used four item cards. Mm, let's just Cynthia. Let's just Cynthia. I'm not sure if that's the best play. Oh, we hit double colorless. That's fine. That's fine. Because we hit double colorless there, I'm totally okay with that play. Um, my kind of thinking at the last minute there was it's not the end of the world if we hit psychic energy when we shuffle back in so we could just do that and if my opponent isn't able to move this Zoroark we're actually going to get a knockout with Lele on this next turn and we can also use Bridget here to set up another two Pokemon on the bench which is absolutely fine by me see Tapu Coco come down and Field Blower 
So he's going to be able to trade this turn, which is a bit of a shame. We lose the choice band. We we lose a lot with that. That that kind of sucked. I won't lie. My opponent is kind of getting through his deck now, though. Only twenty cards left to my thirty. It's just it. It's a waiting game with decks like with with this because you're just kind of trying to stall your opponent out of a couple of turns. But I feel as if we've done that. Hopefully, it doesn't hit something like a max potion here, and we're able to simply knock him out next turn he's going to be able to attack for 120 damage if he finds dce which he does and choice band means 150 damage with right beating but he doesn't actually take a knockout and we draw another dce uh we have knockout right one two three four it's 80 damage we do have knockout as is so I'm tempted to bridge it. Because if we knock this out, he's only going to take a Lele. And we could then set up our bench. Which I think is the best play we can make here. So let's bridge it down. One EV. And I think we might grab Drampa actually. Yeah. Grab EV Drampa. And I'm also going to energy evolve my EV as well. So we get the two Espeons up and running. The other one is in the discard. That's why I didn't get two EVs. Um, we'll re-ability lock my opponent. And we'll energy drive for the knockout. Probably going to lose Lele next turn. We uh, like That's pretty much a given. However, I mean needs must. It's not really the end of the world. Parallel City is a great draw off the, the prizes there. Seeing Parallel City is actually really, really nice. And Zoroark does get the DCE. Guzma is going to take out Garb. Yeah, he's going to take out Garb. Which isn't really that bad. Okay. We're in an interesting place now. Espeon can use Psychic for a two-shot. He's going to hit 120... I'm going to need to find Choice Band. How many Choice Bands have I used? Just the one. Yeah, let's let's promote Espeon. This isn't... Oh, right. There you go. There's a Choice Band there. We're going to cripple my opponent's bench. So you'll probably get rid of Tapu Coco here. Nah, Pseudo Widow. Really? Oh, okay. Lele, of course. I wasn't even looking at the Lele. Attach double colourless. And we'll use Cynthia. We could garb, but that's kind of pointless as we don't have a tool. How many float stones have we used? We've used three. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to put a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand. It will be Trubbish. And we'll get Trubbish down for next turn so that Garb has a chance of coming out next turn if we find uh, Floatstone. Is it right to divide? I don't think so. We need to take a two shot on this Zoroark. So because of resistance, he's going to take 130. That's absolutely fine. It's still a two shot. And we are getting pretty ahead here. We're doing all right. I want to try and get another attacker sorted out though, um, and it might end up being Garb. Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's going to need to be Garb. He's used nine item cards, and with that, we're doing one hundred and eighty damage. We can. No, we can't knock out a Zoroark because of resistance. But if he uses one more item, we can choice band our Trash Alliance Guard Boulder, which already has a Psychic Energy ready. Like, all we need to do is Ultra Ball for it. Um, and we see Mallow is going to get a trade-off, which is, which is okay. That's not the end of the world. Do we need to shuffle anything back? 
can not really so i can ultra ball away my rescue stretcher of lele and get trash lance garbiter and then we'll evolve to garbatoxin here and then cynthia is i think my play we'll see what we top deck though see floatstone which is okay that's not a bad play for my opponent yeah, I don't mind that play. I see what he did there. Takes a knockout on my Tapu Lele, which does kind of suck. Um, I would like to now see... Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, he that was a really good play. Because now I need to Guzman. However, he has... Oh, come on, man. PTCG is killing me here. Um... I think I might divide. I think divide is definitely the play here. So we go, we grab Garbodor. We're going to do the same play as we were going to because now we've top decked the, the choice band. Um, I think divide is definitely the play. We can divide, knock out the Zoroark, and we can put one on the Tapu Koko. And then I think we're knocking out Cynthia. We see everything we need to see. That's actually such a good hand. We'll even bench the Coco or no? No, let's leave the Coco in hand. There's no need to bench. We'll put an energy on Drampa if we have... We've got two DCE. We've got one DCE left in deck. And we're going to divide. So we'll knock out Zoroark with the divide. I'm really glad now that we didn't use that Tapu Cure earlier on. Um, it was okay to leave Espeon on the bench, clearly. Um, that's a knockout to Zoroark, and a damage counter can go on Tapu Koko. We have two damage counters left, because I can't count. Okay, and we'll take two prices. So that's really good. Um, we're now at a point where really good... Guzma wins us the game, which we have in hand, but really just attacking at the Tapu Koko is going to do stupidly good damage. And that'll knock out. Um, he needs to really bring up Zoroark. And. Yeah, because he can't knock out. I don't think he can knock out Espeon unless he brings up Zoroark and gets rid of Parallel City and puts down two Pokemon and a Choice Band. I think we've got this one in hand. I think that this was actually a really good game. We are um, hoping to do a tournament report. Well, I remember, we're, we're aiming to do a tournament report. Whether that's been up already on the channel or whether it'll be coming out after this video, I'm not sure. But um, keep an eye on the channel because we will do a tournament report from uh, the, the League Cup at the weekend that we all played this deck for. What's my opponent going to do? He has to take... He has to take two prizes here. He has to knock out either either one of my Espeons. Um, but Garbodor is such a threat. Um, it can knock out anything. He, he has to do a lot here. He's going to need to end me to one as well. Um, let's count my draw supporters. See what we've got left. I've got... Oh, what was that he did? Fuel Blower. Okay. So he, he gives himself his abilities back. And gives himself his bench back uh three four four draw supporters used i've actually got quite a few draw supporters left in my deck so even if we do get into one with our top deck we'll have two cards it is possible um so he gets another zoroark up he has to end me he has to end me here how many is he used two He's used two ends. I think he just used double puzzle there as well. I'm not sure. So you would think he would want to end. I don't think he can take three prizes this turn. And it puts him in a really bad position. If. Okay, so Enhanced Hammer coming down isn't the end of the world. Because we have knockout. Yep, he, he skips. He, he knew what was going to happen there. Trash Alliance Garb knocked out regardless. So... Yep. First game, first win. That was a nice one. Okay, gonna get another game here. Dark Fighting Psychic. Probably. 
Paw Patrol. And Paw Patrol was a, the deck that I managed to... Um, uh, sorry, was the deck that I lost to in my top eight, uh, top four match. So let's see what we can do. Not the best starting hand. I'm going first though, so let's see what we can make happen here. He starts a Lele. We do not want to attach that energy. We really do want to evolve here. Um... Lily for five could be okay. Let's try it. Let's try Lily for five. And we miss the psychic energy. Of course we do. Aye. Okay, in that case, we will Ultra Ball away. Our Field Blower and N. We're going to grab ourselves another E. Or, in fact, we'll grab Drampa. Let's grab Drampa and start setting him up. If he is playing Paw Patrol. Um, we could maybe use Drampa to swing some energy discards. Plus, I'm happy keeping a double colorless on a Drampa as opposed to an Eevee because Tapu Lele's can knock out Eevees with an energy on it. Next time we're able to... Yeah, it's Paw Patrol. That's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. It's not the best matchup for us by any means, but it's definitely not the worst. Okay, so we can shut off his abilities. We can actually take a knockout on a Rockruff on the bench, but that seems a little bit, like, not great. Do we want to take a knockout here? I mean, it involves attaching two double colorless to this. Doesn't really sound like the best idea. Let's shut off abilities and we'll Cynthia. Really looking for that um, Espeon. Yep, never mind. Okay, so that's not great. That's not a good good thing that's just happened there. We'll shut off his bench for a start. And hopefully that sticks. However, I don't really want to attach a Psychic to Eevee. To quick draw like I think we may have to I've not got a draw supporter for next turn so Eesh, this is nasty this is nasty shouldn't really have turned off the abilities now that I think about it um we do hit quick draw I mean there's a Guzma it's not that great ah this is bad <laughs> we have shut off his abilities which is I suppose good However, I really shouldn't have done it last turn before I Cynthia'd. Um, kind of figured I would be able to hit into an Espeon somehow with like an Ultra Ball or something. And hitting the Espeon Psychic Energy when you've not seen any of them or any outs to them bar one Ultra Ball is seems okay to me. Guzma comes up. He's gonna... Is he gonna attack? Yeah, surely. No, he's not. Oh, he's stuck. He's just as stuck as I am. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to take a knockout here. Um, what intimidates me most? Probably the Rockruff. Nah, we'll knock out a Zoroa. reason I'm not really bothered about knocking out the Rockruff is that the Zoroas, um, I can't really deal with with my Espeon. So using Berserk here does take a prize and it's pretty okay it's not the best play however my opponent is pretty stuck we're just getting guzma over and over again come on now my opponent does seem really stuck so we'll see what can happen here i mean he gets bridget for another zorua a rock rough His hand seems super dead though. So is mine. So it's really just who gets an out first. Another rock rough comes down. I mean I guess he just retreats to Lele. If his hand's still dead. 
choice band on Rockruff and tackle for 80 damage. Dude, that's a bulky Rockruff. Um, okay. I'm really tempted to big wheel. Like, if I big wheel and start, start being able to really set up, I really could knock him back a few turns. I'm still going to Guzma. I'm going to Guzma up. The other rock rough. I feel like that's like a kind of bad place for him to be in. And we're gonna big wheel GX. We may end up losing Drampa this turn. However, that's really not the end of the world. I need I need cards, man. I need cards. What did my opponent draw? Bit of a gamble on my part there, not just you know taking the knockout on the Pokemon that had a ugh. he gets the Ultra Ball for okay, so he had Parallel City Zoroark in hand. He didn't even want to place down the Zoroark. Um, he gets Lycan Rock. Does he have an energy? He's got no ability, and uh, no, he doesn't. He's not got an energy, so that's that's fine. Okay, so see, now I'm really ahead. Look at my hand, dude. This is nuts. So, we know he plays Parallel City, so it's going to be kind of hard for him to replace the stadium and use it on me. So, let's get rid of Parallel City and we'll get rid of Eevee. And we'll grab our only SP on the deck. Come on now. I don't really see any need for that. Did I discard SP on? No, I didn't. So, we get an SP on up. And. We can knock out, yeah, I think what we do here is Guzma up, oh, oh no, don't lag, don't lag, we've got a good game going here, right, we'll Guzma up the Lycanroc, and we're going to start really pressuring the Lycanroc, and that is me, I think, Psybeam. No, Psychic. 120 damage. So. Oh no, stop lagging, dude. Please. Um, yeah, so we have a two-shot knockout on the Lycan Rock, which is really, really good. And my opponent's in a very bad way here. We've really managed to control the game. We've really managed to slow him down to the point that he can't really do anything. Setting up Garb early is just so nasty. Um, we can... I think we just attach energy to Eevee. Obviously he can't evolve, but that's fine. But he's ready to go for next turn. And Psychic. Knock out the Lycanroc. And we're two more prizes up. See Cynthia, we see her on another Espeon, which is fantastic. Oh yeah, they were both there was two prizes, wasn't there? So that's that's that was a good prize to get. <laughs> Forgot about that. And we can attach a Oh, excellent. Okay, so this is going to be a nice play here. What we're going to do is we're going to set up another Espeon completely, and then we're going to Cynthia. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to divide GX, knock out the Rockruff, and put four damage counters on Zorua. Or do we? No, we don't. We put damage counters on the Lele, because then we can knock out Lele with Psychic. Psychic will do s seven. Yeah, he's going to need to put energy on. It's going to be a two shot regardless. Oh, I've already used my GX. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, then uh, <laughs> I've already used my GX attack. Okay, so we're going to just attack Lele. <laughs> that was the plan all along. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Okay, so my opponent's getting back into the game now. He's got his field blower. So you've got one turn of abilities, dude. What are you going to do with it? Uh-oh. So probably going to bring up something like Drampa. No, Garb. He, he's gunning for that Garb. Oh, that's a shame, buddy. Just going to put Float Stone straight back on Garb and retreat to Espeon. That, oh, that was not the, f the best play he could have made there. Um, Yeah, just knock out. 
Yeah, we've got this game in hand, guys. This is... We're, we've dealt with this game very well. And just as you can see, like, there's so much pressure gets put on at my opponent here. Like, with no abilities, with no, like, real way of... Okay, so he's going to get a knockout. That's something. Uh, and what we do here is we count up his tools. Or his items. One, two... Three, four. He's only used four. Okay. And yep. So he manages to take a knockout, which is absolutely fine. We can deal with that. Um, do we want to keep that energy on? So we can do one twenty or one fifty. Either way, it's a two shot. And we can. What can we get with Bridget? Nothing really. Nah. Nah, we just leave that. Uh, he can stay there. Okay. So, we're going to do 120. Yeah. yeah. We do 120 damage. That's absolutely fine. It's a two shot. We still have a Lele in the deck. So, if he tries to retreat or anything like that, we should have game. He can't knock out SP on this turn. Uh, so, yeah, we should have game everywhere you look at it. Yep. And a pass turn. And that's game. Um, we simply discard two cards for Lily. Oh, we, we can't Lily. <laughs> oh, I don't even have Guzma. I've used all my Guzmas. Okay. Oh, dude. I'm so rusty right here. What am I doing? So we'll set up, we'll just set up Trash Alliance. And... Psychic's gonna do like 90, 70 damage. So yeah, let's just keep hitting him with Psychic. We're putting up with so much pressure here that like surely my opponent can't get back into this game. Berserk can do 80 to him. I mean, 80's not great. Ah, oh, that's like, that's about three turns in a row I've thought I've had this, but my opponent's really staying in there. But like, the early pressure that we showed here really has come back to my opponent, and he's not been able to do all that much. And it's it's going to end up, hopefully at least, getting us the win. Um, 40 damage there, like, that's nothing. Um, Yep, just attack. Just attack. So now both of his Pokemon are one shot away from dying. Um, and he can't really do anything about it. Like, that's... That's going to be game. Cynthia, he's going to have to put something on the bench, retreat, do all that sort of stuff. I can't believe I used all my Guzmas without even really thinking about it at the start of the game. Um, what we can do is if he retreats and tries to do some funny business, I can bring up Coco next turn. With the hand that I have. Really? No, because he's going to... Yeah, even if he brings down Rock Rough and... There you go. So he's, he's conceded the game. Um, yeah. What we've seen there was a lot of early pressure. The early pressure put out by Garb. By um, having the outs to early Espeons. And the, even the Drampa put in a lot of work. Right at the start of the game. We just managed to stop my opponent playing... And that was their our kind of strategy for the way the deck's built, is that they can't play, but we have all the draw support to just keep churning through our deck and getting set up. You saw me use the Big Wheel GX to like great effect as well there. While my opponent was totally stuck out of the game, I had 10 cards in my hand and I was rocking. So yeah, this, this deck is awesome. This deck is awesome. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. This deck is awesome. I love it. Um, It's something that was popular a while back like the whole espion garb thing was like a real big deal when guardians rising first came out but it really has fallen out of favor recently but however with the rise of buzzwool it is such a good deck like just being able to knock out buzzwool when it's got one energy attached is awesome psychic is a really good attack guys it's a really really good attack and don't sleep on things like divide gx and 
even even trash a lance do you know what i mean like it's such a good ability to be able to just come in and say you've used these item cards and now you can't now your pokemon's knocked out do you know what i mean it's, it's such a it's such a awesome way to take a knockout um changes that i would make to the deck i'm not a hundred percent sure we need better ways of dealing with um galissapod galissapod's a really really good pokemon and it, we struggle a lot with um because we're too short on them and they're too short on us they are normally playing a higher count of acerola and even um yeah just acerola really um so they have a much easier time knocking us out we don't do a whole lot of damage to them so we need something for that i'm not sure exactly what you would do for galissapod that's the problem um galissapod is a big problem for this deck maybe adding in um another couple of acerola somewhere would be nice um another guard uh trash alliance garb could be awesome and um, we actually talked about that after the tournament would be like we were like i really wish we'd kept in another garbador because i was constantly looking for that trash alliance knockout um but yeah awesome deck guys if if you enjoyed the video please leave a like down below comment subscribe let us know what videos you want to see and um, i will be happy to take suggestions for the next deck if you want to me to do a a fun deck a, a more serious deck then let me know um you can follow us on facebook twitter all sorts um, it's all in the description and yeah i'll see you guys very soon bye bye just before we wrap up i actually noticed i've got like 400 coins here so let's just buy a couple of packs why not <laughs> um looking to get another few wins on this ladder because the the prizes on this ladder are awesome um and i would like to i would like to redeem some of these so um what can we get i'm hoping to get like i don't know i don't know what am i missing another glaceon could be kind of nice um dusk mains are always good i think i've got all the prisms i said there that's not so bad um, so we oh reverse magnezone's pretty decent that, that's a nice card and a bastiodon hollow so that's that's total jank but reverse magnezone's cool and what else did we get another cynthia awesome awesome so we've got two lock cynthias i'm happy to get as many lock cynthias as i can because i only really play with the regular arts and a hollow drampa well we showed drampa in the deck the gx variant but this isn't this isn't that this is not good um so yeah well that was a bit of a bust but two cynthia and a hollow a hollow magnezone i guess that's pretty decent <laughs> goodbye guys